Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another what I eat in a day. It's 6.30 in the morning. I always try to get up at 6 a.m. on days that I have off just so I can have a more productive day, but I always end up starting the day at 6.30 for some reason. I normally start the day off with a workout, but I was just in the mood to read in bed this morning. So I'm gonna have the cinnamon raisin bagel in bed with my Americano. I'm gonna read a little bit, and then I'm gonna get up and get in a workout as soon as I decide that I want to stop reading. It is 7.40 in the morning and it is my favorite time of the day. I always get messages on my Instagram of people asking me what supplements that I recommend them take. And I take pre-workout before my workouts because I feel that it benefits me. If you feel personally that it doesn't benefit you in any way, then you don't have to take it. Um, I recommend a protein powder because protein aids in muscle recovery and muscle growth from what I understand. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. I like to add protein powder to my smoothies. I like to have protein bars on hand at home. What Up Nutrition is my favorite nutrition brand. If you guys are interested in trying any of the products, I really recommend their pre-workout and their coconut ice cream protein powder. This video is not sponsored. I am not an official ambassador or athlete for 1UP Nutrition. I am just a firm believer that 1UP Nutrition is a very, very good supplement company. Hey everyone, future editing me coming in to give you guys a quick future edit update. It's been a little bit since I filmed the What I Eat in a Day video and I just wanted to give you guys a quick update that I am officially a 1UP Nutrition ambassador. So that means I do have my own promo code now. So if you guys are interested in purchasing anything from 1UP Nutrition, you can use my code LINDA1UP. It would really help a lot if you guys use my code to purchase anything. You'll get 20% off. So again, LINDA1UP. I will leave that on the screen. I will leave it in the description. Thank you guys in advance and let's get back to the video. And if you guys have any other questions about the supplements or anything, uh, feel free to message me on my wellness Instagram. I will be sure to get back to everybody that sends me a message. I'm gonna take half a scoop of this pre-workout. Cheers. Just finished my workout and just showered. I'm feeling a little hungry, but not hungry enough for a full meal yet, so I'm not gonna have lunch. I'm gonna have this protein bar. This is a cookies and cream protein bar from 1UP Nutrition. Okay, I know I talked about 1UP Nutrition earlier, but I ordered two boxes of protein bars from 1UP Nutrition and they came in the mail yesterday. I had the salted caramel one and it is so freaking good, but the cookies and cream one is also really good too. My favorite flavors for the protein bars would be the cookies and cream, salted caramel, and birthday cake. They just all taste so good without having that really weird protein flavor, like sticky take texture, if you know what I mean. Here, I'll even show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. That's what it looks like on the inside. So I'm gonna enjoy this, get some work done. That's all I wanted to say. Okay, whoa, oh, I don't need glasses when I'm not at my screen. Sorry, I don't actually wear prescription glasses. I just wear blue light glasses for when I'm staring at a screen all day. It's lunchtime. I'm gonna have a salad today using leftover rotisserie chicken. Uh, leftover rotisserie chicken is really versatile if you're on a budget and you're trying to figure out ways to meal prep at home. So I always keep some rotisserie chicken in the fridge for times like this. I have a busy day today. I have to do a lot of editing and I have a lot of schoolwork to do. So rotisserie chicken is great for busy days like this. <laughs> Thank you. 
taking a quick break from classes right now to make myself a little snack. Feeling fruit for my snack today, so I got strawberries, blueberries, and half a banana. Just wanted to give you guys a little chip ASMR. I'm not really a big fan of tomatoes, especially in my guac. Honestly, when I leave out the tomatoes from the guac, it makes it taste so much more like the chipotle guacamole, so cheers. So it's time for dinner now. If you guys follow my wellness Instagram, you've probably seen this a bunch of times, but I'm going to be doing like a, I honestly don't even know what to call this dish. I'm gonna to toast two of these cauliflower thins up, and then I'm gonna be using some rotisserie chicken, some garlic spread, and um, the Trader Joe's salsa on top. It sounds like a really weird combination. I honestly don't know how I came up with it, but uh, don't knock until you try it. It's actually a pretty good combo. And on the side, I'm just gonna have some vegetables and dip. Honestly, I'm just feeling kind of lazy and don't wanna make like a fancy dinner, so that's what we're gonna have. <laughs> So with that last look of dinner, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys for following along another what I eat in a day and I will see you all in the next video.